Hey, Adam. Danny boy. How are you? Love you, man. That was fun. He's uh, Adam Sandler. The new movie is Pixels. He's joining us from Toronto as they uh, wind down the shoot. I got to give you the full introduction there. Okay, can I can I hear it? That was it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were going to go harder. Well, I, have you ever been nominated for an Academy Award? Yes, I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm>, when? <laughs> you uh, think so? Uh, on Golden Pond, do you remember that one? No, no. Or we all, or we all forget the Sandman. How good he was in that. <laughs> I was the son. I was. Oh, the you were son. the boy. Oh, I, I yeah. forget that. Oh, you were really yeah. good. You were really good. Thank could I think it was good. I brought out uh, Henry's game. He was kind of phoning it in, and then the Sandman said, "Let's go, boy. We're going to get this tonight." <laughs> yeah, you, you brought out the best in Henry Fonda. Have they ever asked you? Have you ever presented at the Academy Awards? They asked me, yes, several times. Not as much anymore because the Sandman has thrown so many rejections. No, no, why? <laughs> what do you need me for? You got others. But but uh, I did it when Rock when Rock uh, was hosting. Oh, you I, did? He put, the, he put full court pressure on, uh, on Sandman. Come on, I'm there. You, and so, of course, I had to do it. But, but those, I, I, don't, I don't enjoy being around other uh, stars. Why? I like to stay home. Well, why do, what do I need to see them for? I see them in the movies. But do you like... I got to talk to them? Do you like hanging out with... No. You do not? I mean, yeah, when I'm there, they're all nice. I have a good time when I'm there. But and, you, got, you, to, you told me you had famous neighbors. Yeah, I got famous neighbors, but I, I have a Saturday Night Live. Remember that? Uh, I got to meet everybody then, you know? I'd meet them and hang out for a week. Uh, Academy Awards. I'm not good at small like a two cents kind of thing. I need to be in a room locked up and getting to know somebody. So just, just one by one, they bring them to the house and I got them, <laughs> to, you know, I get a two day barbecue with them. Who's your, who's your most famous neighbor? I don't know, but I know Mel Brooks lives in the neighborhood. I just don't know what house. <laughs> you, wait, <laughs> you told me that Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Oh yeah. They're right across the street from me, <laughs> Kurt and Golden. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yes. What, Kurt is a badass. Would I he's like Kurt Russell? He is the manliest man, and he's and he's he's. I know we grew up with Kurt Russell out in uh in you know in the Disney movies, but he's got a very New England flair to him. There's something about Kurt that is a, a, a rugged man. He can he can strangle you if he, he needs to. <laughs> well, you told me he walks out in his underwear to get his mail. He has. I have seen Kurt in his underwear, and he's always looking. Uh, he still he fills up the underwear. Nice. <laughs> Kurt Russell's a, a ten of a man. He's a ten of a man, and and, and I've been to, and they, I've been to I went skiing with Kurt. I do it all with Kurt. When you're with Kurt, you're protected. Does your wife wait for Kurt Russell to go get the mail? <laughs> the whole neighborhood, the whole neighborhood, just sixteen ladies hanging out by the mailbox. So here he comes. No, I'm telling you, he's the funniest guy, and he is a badass, and he is so crazy smart. Like I, uh, he knows everything. He knows everything about airplanes. He knows everything about. He he's one of those guys that you are constantly learning stuff from, and and uh, and the underwear is great too. Does Tom Brady live on your block? I don't know. I don't think so. I, he's in the, in in the same town, but I have not I have not seen Tommy Boy. I know Euclidus. Uh, uh, I don't think Euclidus lives in the neighborhood, but uh, I know their brother in law. So we we talk about going out and golfing, but you know, haven't golfed in a long time. Yeah, you you sort of uh, it's it's over. Well, basketball is still in your life. I played hoop yesterday. I took down some kids at the JCC. <laughs> This little fourteen-year-old boy tried to get in the same man's way. We 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 plowed him over. So the Jewish Community Center, you would be a lottery pick. Oh, without a doubt, <laughs> without a doubt, I, all star. They got they got picks all over every JCC in in the, in the country <laughs> and Canada. <laughs> My Sandler just staring you down with a, one of the biggest yarmulkes he's ever worn. Uh, we're talking to Adam Sandler. The new movie comes out next July. It's Pixels. Uh, it, I, I felt like, well, this was mentioned to me by the other uh, Danettes, uh, Seton and Pauly. You were giving maybe preferential treatment to uh, fellow members of the tribe, Fritzy and McLovin, since they're Jewish. <laughs> Any truth to that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's an unwritten law. We gave. <laughs> no, just, uh, you know, 
I, I, I'm always looking out for just in case I can't get 10 guys for a minion. I want to make sure I'm <laughs> on their good side. <laughs> okay, McLovin, McLovin has something he wants to say. He's very, very, very sad about what about the, the suit? You can keep the suit. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't about the suit. McLovin, tell what Sandler is, what's the problem. Well, I was lined up for a great shot next to Dan, and then the director mm-hmm. comes out and said that Dan had to move away from Smigel to make the line more effective, and I think I lost some right. airtime. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Each one of you guys, every one of you has, has a beautiful shot. You're in, you're in either your own shots, you're in either Smigel shots, Steve Korn shots, or Danny shots. I promise you, you're all in it. And you and you got moved for you know we were trying to in the beginning it was cutting around the little twitch thing you had going on <laughs> but then I said <laughs> then I said we got to get McLovin on on camera no I promise you everybody's gonna be seen so McLovin that twitch that he had on camera that you were concerned about that. Yeah, yeah, we were trying to time it right. We, we call action like, he just twitched. Let's go again right away. <laughs> we got about 12 seconds. Now, nope, there it goes. The eyebrow's popping up and down again. Did you ever think of reaching out to Derek Jeter since the Yankees were in town to do a cameo in the movie? Wow, no, no, no. I know he's busy. He, he did, uh, he, he, that was his last time in Toronto. And I could have gone there. I could have gone there, Danny. But you know what I chose to do instead? Go up to Dan Aykroyd's house and hang out with him at his lake house. Man, we had fun at dinner with Aykroyd. Oh, wasn't that the best? Well, because you made it the best. You set up the stories with Aykroyd, so he had to tell those stories about Animal House and Saturday Night Live. Well, well, honestly, he's pretty damn cool with giving it up. I just, I just wanted to let him know we're, we're interested in hearing it. If, if you want to say, it. he'll, he'll tell you anything. But man, he does make. Make the night a little more fun. He is a pure, he is a walking party. Have you ever, when's the last time you threw out the first pitch at a sport, at a baseball game? With uh, Chris Rock at a Yankee game, maybe 10 years ago or something. Oh, so yeah. you, you didn't want to go out there by yourself? No, I did. I did. But Rock, believe me, in retrospect, Rock wished I, I went out alone because he chucked it deep into the net. <laughs> Rock, Rocco, Rocco threw, went long with it, but <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I would do it again, but I, I I gotta say it's terrifying. Have you ever done it? Yeah, yeah, I brought some cheese a couple of times. You yeah. Then now, how did you feel? Did you push off the rubber? I yeah. was like, I I felt like I've never pitched in my life, and I used to pitch growing up and and uh, in little league. When I was on that mound, I was I had no clue what to do. Well, Maybe you your leg come up. You can't go to the mound if if you're not used to that because you always throw it either real high or real low. And and if you throw in right. front of the mound, then people make fun of yeah. you. Yeah, you can't skip it. I know. I, I think I got it there. I, I made sure I got it there. I I, I I don't know who caught my pitch. I don't even remember. But somebody he had to stand up for it. Uh, is there another sports movie out there? I was just thinking the same. What can, what else is there left to do? Uh, I, maybe dirt bikes. Maybe dirt bikes. So like BMX, motocross. I, I think I think motocross or some some sort of motorcycle type of fun movie would be good. I have no clue, man. I've done done. I never did a baseball movie though, and that's the only sport I'm okay at. But how many how many scripts would you get in the in the course of a week? How many scripts come into your office or come you know across your desk? Um, I don't I don't know. I, you know. Um, if I'm walking on the street, I get three or four. <laughs> so if you go to Starbucks, <laughs> is somebody handing yes, you a script? Yes, yeah, yes, uh, but I can't take them. I tell them that legally I can't take them, and then they they don't understand that, and they still force it in my lap, and and they stare at me until I finish it, and, I, and then I have to tell them good job, and then I say, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you able to green light a script that you get at Starbucks? Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's uh, that's Grown Ups 1 and 2. We've kind of done that way. <laughs> you know, actually, I'm glad you guys are talking about this because I have an idea for a movie that I oh, wanted to run by. No, for. no. I, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I did tell the Danettes, no one-on-one time with Sandler. No one-on-one Why? time. Why? Because I can't, tr- I can't trust him. You know, the no one on one with Ivan Reitman made sense, but with the Sandman, <laughs> yeah. it's fine. Yeah, it, yeah, I, I, I had to be nervous uh, there. Uh, I gave that was my funny. I, yeah, it was. Uh, I gave my Super Bowl pick, in case you care. Oh, uh, who 
would you pick? I'm, uh, Green Bay Packers. Packers and the Patriots. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, uh, uh, I, I, I saw Aaron Rodgers, okay. Like, you know how I say I don't go to parties? Yeah. I went to one party. Yeah. A girl, uh, Heather, who wor- works in my office. Heather she, Perry. She, Heather Perry had this birthday party, and, and, uh, and it was a pretty great party And because uh, she was giving out Carvel ice cream. <laughs> that, that's how good of a party it was. It ended with a Carvel guy coming out and handing out cones. <laughs> but, but, um, <laughs> anyways, Aaron Rodgers was there, and we were talking to him, and me and Gary Puto. And he mentioned uh, this next year. He said next year is going to be Green Bay. And he meant it. So that's why uh, mm. we all went ve- Vegas on Green Bay. But you're, I, you don't even. Lachlan screaming Eagles. You don't even walk up to the, like, you, you're not comfortable around other celebrities. Why is that? I am. No, any, any, I'm fine with anybody. I'm always there. I'll talk to, I'll talk to them. If they're nice, it's fun to talk to them. If they're, if they're looking crazy, I walk away. You know, I don't have any examples of that, but I just, I got life, life is, if I was younger, if I was in my 20s, I'd be, I was, I went to parties when in my 20s and I met Harrison Ford and, and Pacino and stuff like that. And I couldn't stop talking about it. It's like the greatest nights of my life. But uh, in the 40s, you're just like, all right, we're all nuts. There's nothing that special about any of us. We're all a little bit uh, bananas. But with all these movie stars, I mean, now where you are in your 40s, if, if the media coverage was now, but you were in your 20s. How would you have done with that? Oh, that would have, would have changed it all. I would have, would have definitely not had, had as many stories. But, but yeah, yeah, the media coverage is... Uh, is uh, I don't know, these young youngsters seem to be having fun out there. Would you have been hanging with Justin Bieber if you were in your 20s? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I'd be write, writing tunes with the man. <laughs> these uh, <laughs> selfies that have been exposed on the Internet... You're not your your account has not been hacked, has it? I, I yeah, I don't, I don't I didn't see whose was. Uh, all I know is Tim Hurley. He looked. Uh, uh, he, he said I got to be careful out there with what I what I put up. Have Privately, you taken a right? selfie? Have you taken a selfie? I do it. I do the selfie all the time to say hello to my kid. No, no, no. But, I mean and, one that you might send to your wife. No, no, the one to the kids. I'm sure it was too. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, they love it. They they can't believe I'm in a shape up in at this age. <laughs> no, I know I haven't done a selfie shot. Have you done that yet? Uh, just to the Danettes. <laughs> I I did one at at the bar in Toronto on Thursday night. Apparently, I uh, uh, I had my shirt off. No, no, no. You were you were good. You were clean living that night. Oh uh, no, you weren't there with us, Sandman. Oh, you mean uh, you mean the one before you saw <laughs> after story? after we saw you at oh. dinner. Oh, oh, you got loose after that. Where'd you guys go? Uh, we just went to the hotel bar. Mm-hmm. I put and it the on. Shirt came off. I put it on your tab, by the way. <laughs> That's fine, man. Well, yeah, you also put the private plane on my tab too. <laughs> no, I love how Sandler goes. Uh, Do you come in private? And I go, no, you paid for it. Oh yeah, Dude, I, I, I I said that because you guys were acting like the flight wasn't happening. So somebody wanted to stay for the Yankee game, right? Yeah, we didn't have a private plane. Why yeah, didn't yeah, well, we have a private plane? Because you don't want to. <laughs> no, gas. I do. Oh, I don't want to waste <laughs> gas. I love how you Hollywood types don't want to waste gas because you drive a Prius, but then you'll take private planes. Dude, I, I, I Danny, <laughs> when I get a private plane, honestly. It's 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 always I don't just put me on there I put me and the dog, so it's, it's like we got two of us. Have you ever flown you know your bulldog? Has your dog ever gone by itself on a private plane? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, okay. no, not not alone. Uh, 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 junior, Junior almost took my dog from Hawaii. Ju- junior had a private plane. I almost stuck my my dog on there, but. But and that would have been cool Wait, to, to get Dale, to know the NASCAR. Dale Earnhardt yeah, Jr. Dale was flying <laughs> flying somewhere, and and I and I and I had I had my dog. I think I was in Hawaii. I don't remember, but I remember asking if Dale was going towards LA if he could bring, if he could bring my dog home. <laughs> I think something like that. <laughs> oh, and oh. Junior was not going there. He was going to a race, so we couldn't get it done. All right. Well, good luck with the rest of the movie, and thank you again for. Uh, and you were great. 
You were great. All you guys were great. And and congratulations on everything. It was fun being with you, buddy. Thanks, Sam. Fun Sandman. being with all you guys. That was the best. All right. Thank you, bud. Uh, I, That's uh, Adam Sandler, actor, comedian, and dumb enough to put us in another movie.